Welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a little bit of spring decorating in our house and so I want to bring you guys along with me. I went out and bought some really cute things and I'm also going to be tidying up the house so this is going to be a clean and decorate with me for spring. And then also this video is in collaboration with my friend Jessica. I absolutely love her. She actually lives in the same area that I do and so it's nice that we get to see each other and it's just really cool because I feel like I don't have that many people around me who do what I do so it's really cool to relate to her and we just totally get each other. You guys are going to absolutely love her channel. She just purchased a house and she's renovating the entire thing like literally walls came down and everything so I'm so excited to see the process of what her house is going to look like so she's actually going to be filming a pack and clean with me so she's packing her house or she's packing where she's living from now and she's going to move to her new house so you guys are not going to want to miss those. I love moving vlogs and so I'm sure she's gonna have plenty of that so make sure to head on over to her channel and subscribe let her know that I sent you and if you guys are new to my channel I would absolutely love it if you stuck around and subscribe and now let's get right into it now that it's officially spring I love to have fresh flowers in our home and this is about two weeks old now and so the flowers have died so instead of fresh flowers I'm actually going to be making my own flower arrangement with fake flowers that I bought from different stores and I'll show you guys what that looks like but I needed the boss and I needed to clean it out so meanwhile I'm gonna go ahead and put away the dishes and just tidy up a bit I feel like I can't get started on home decor without a clean home I don't know why that's always me like I'll put all of the new decorations that I want to use in a room in their bag and then once I'm done cleaning the house I'll bring them out is anybody else like that too I don't know I just find it weird so for right now I'm gonna go ahead and put away all of the dishes that were air drying from the night before and then I'm also going to wash that vase that base <laughs> that the flowers were in it that way I can use those for the new arrangement that I'm going to be putting together so last night Ricardo and I ate some amazing tacos they were so good and we also had wine it was just such a good night we also rewatched or should I say binge watched the last season of Game of Thrones just so that it's fresh in our minds for the new premiere I'm so excited for this season you guys have no idea I'm so scared as well because I don't know what's gonna happen like I don't know who's gonna end up on the throne I don't know who they're going to kill off in the show so let me know what your theories are because I'm so interested I have mine but I won't spoil it for anybody else all right so now I'm gonna go ahead and clean off the counters quickly and I'm going to be using my favorite counter spray this is a Mrs. Myers multi-surface cleaner in the peony scent and it smells really good and it's also my favorite color pink so I'm just gonna go ahead and wipe down all of the counters because I recently went to Kirkland's and one of the decorations that I really wanted was a different bowl for our fruit. We've been eating a lot more fruit now and I just wanted something a little bit different. So the bowl that we're currently using is this one which we got as a gift for our wedding which I do love but I've had it for five years now and I was like I'm going to switch it up a little bit and of course I'll go back to it like in a different season but I saw this one and I fell in love with it I think it's so beautiful it just looks so fresh and clean and it just looks a little bit more decorative so I decided to switch it out so right underneath the coffee spot in this cabinet is where I store bunch of bosses or candles that are seasonal that way whenever I'm decorating different spaces I can have my little collection of things that I know I'm going to use if I know that I haven't used it like in the past year I will go ahead and donate it but I know that all of these things are things that I constantly exchange so I'm definitely putting a good use to them right Coco if not they get donated we're not hoarders we used to be right Coco but not no more yeah, not anymore. <laughs> so I'm probably going to take a couple of losses and put them on top of the mantle. 
So today I went to Kirkland's and that's where I found the fruit bowl. And then I also found these really, really pretty leaves. I love them. I feel like I went to Michaels and Joanne Fabrics and they weren't as pretty as this. These look a little bit more realistic. The other ones look like a really like dark green and it just, I don't know, it didn't look that nice. These were $10.99 but I did have a coupon for the fruit bowl and the app is called Spin to Win and I got I think 30% off. And then I also went to Home Goods and there I picked up a couple more things. I wanted these flowers because I thought they were just so beautiful and really, really pretty. And I want to put these on top of the mantle. And I thought these were a good match together. So I'm going to put those together. And then I also got this mat. And it was on clearance. It was 50% off. And we're going to put this outside by the door. I just think it's so pretty. And it's actually almost identical to the one that I bought before. But I think it's a different shade of pink. That I bought last year but I just loved it so much and of course it got ruined um, through the weather because we have a lot of rain over here but that's okay I don't mind because I didn't pay that much for it and it's um, it looks really really nice outside and I received a lot of compliments on it so I'm gonna get the vases and I am going to go ahead and start putting this flower arrangement together Something that I have noticed is that it's so much cheaper to make your own flower arrangements than it is to buy the ones that are already set, like that you get at TJ Maxx or Home Goods, because they do have several of those, but I can't switch out the flowers throughout the season. So now I just have like a couple of vases, and then what I do is I'll just go ahead and switch it up from season to season. You know, sometimes you just get bored of the same home decor, and this way it's a lot cheaper, and it's also customizable to however you like it. So I'm I'm going to take off the leaves that are on the stems of the flower I just don't like those for some reason I just I don't know I'm not a huge fan of those leaves so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them off and I'm going to add this bunch of leaves over here and these are so pretty I saw so many different kinds of arrangements with these type of leaves on Pinterest for weddings and parties and all kinds of different decorations a helpful tip is to use wire cutters when you're cutting the flowers and the stems because I used to use scissors and I would damage my scissors and I would hurt myself trying to cut the flowers with just regular scissors so I do recommend wire cutters a lot of the times when I'm looking for wreaths I can't find exactly what I'm looking for and I wanted the flower arrangements to match this wreath that I recently got to so I found this at Joanne Fabrics and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to replace some of the flowers with the pink ones that way it adds more color and it's arranged exactly how I picture and how I want it to be so they all match together and it looks really nice and pretty and it's so easy to do this because you just pop off the top and there's still a little wire sticking out so that you can use other flowers instead of the ones that it comes with Won't you be Now that I have the ladder, I'm going to take the opportunity to go ahead and dust this area because it does get pretty dusty. There's no action going on over here on top, so I'm just going to go ahead and quickly use the swifter and then I'm going to add all the decor. I really liked how all the flower arrangements came out exactly how I wanted them but when I put them up next to each other it looked a little bit cluttered so what I did is I put them down by the chimney so instead I'm gonna go ahead and just clean this out really quick it gives me the opportunity to dust everything wipe everything down and then I brought down the vases and it made it look so much better I just felt like it balanced each other out a lot better and I'm also gonna switch out the blankets that we have in here this is a nice fresh blanket that I just got out of the laundry and then also like different pillows just to switch it up a bit and I think that also made it feel like new fresh like new decor even though I didn't spend any money on new pillows or new blankets or anything it's just about switching it out and I'm gonna go ahead and quickly vacuum the floor because when I was dusting a lot of the dust fell on the ground so I'm gonna go ahead and just clean that off and move on to the next thing that I'm gonna show you guys
Moving on to our coffee table, I felt like this arrangement over here looked very um, autumn or very wintry with all the pine cones. So I'm just going to go ahead and take those out and then switch out the flowers. Once again, I didn't spend any money on new flowers. These are just some that I already had, but just by switching it out, it makes a huge difference. And then I ended up with this flower arrangement over here. And I'm also going to be printing out some pictures. So it was recently my niece and nephew's birthday. My nephew turned four and my niece turned one. And so my sister had a really cute photo shoot for them. And oh my goodness, they came out so cute. So I wanted to update some of our picture frames that we had in our house. And sometimes it makes me sad because I have old pictures on there and I don't want to get rid of them. But what I do now is I will go ahead and switch them out into an album that way they're not like being put away but they're you know they're having a new home and I have new pictures to display on my entertainment center just throughout the house that way it's a little bit updated it's a little bit more fresh and you still keep all of your memories so I love to update pictures and picture frames also this is another frame that was kind of outdated for me I didn't really care for it so in this case, I switched out the frame instead of the picture. That way it does not have to get expensive when you're trying to switch out your decor or just update things if you want some new decor for your house. And also get those pictures out of your cell phone and get them framed. If you have a printer, just buy some printing paper, which is super inexpensive, and print out a bunch of pictures because I feel like sometimes we just keep them on our phone. And it's happened before where like my sister, she lost her cell phone. and so. All of those memories were lost and it was really sad because you just have all of your memories on your phone so you want to make sure that you have them out and printed because I think photographs are so special. that is pretty much it for home decor for now until next time I'll keep you guys updated with what kind of home decor I get because I love watching home decor videos they give me a lot of inspiration for my home and I hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also don't forget to check out Jessica's video head on over to her channel you guys are going to absolutely love her let her know that I sent you and I will talk to you guys in my next video which is besos Mwah.